Hey, this is Presh Talwalker, and you're watching Mind Your Decisions. Here's a fun little magic trick you can perform anytime you're at the bookstore, the library, or anywhere that has book barcodes. Let's say you ask someone to pick out any book in the store, and they bring Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Now on the back side of the book is a barcode. Tell them to locate a 13-digit number that starts with the numbers 9, 7, and 8. This is the ISBN 13 code. Now the numbers look pretty random, but in fact, there's a secret mathematical code hidden in these numbers. The code is that the very last digit, the 13th digit, is known as a check digit, and it's determined by the other 12 numbers. The check digit helps detect errors if the barcode has been damaged or the number has been entered incorrectly. So we're going to take these first 12 numbers and color code them alternately. The first thing we'll do is we'll add up every other number starting with the first number on the left. So we add 9, 8, 3, 8, 9, and 1. This will give a sum of 38. We then take the sum of all of the other digits here colored in green and then we multiply that sum by 3. This will give a result of 78. Now we add up these two results and we get 116. To get the check digit, we answer the following question. What number do you need to add to get to a multiple of 10? So what positive number will bring 116 up to a multiple of 10? Well, 120 is a multiple of 10, so we need to add 4 to 116. Therefore, 4 is the check digit, and in fact, that's the very last digit of this barcode. Now let's do another example with everyone's favorite book, The Joy of Game Theory. So I've already blocked out the 13th digit. Let's see if we can calculate what it is. So we first add up all of the black digits. We then add up all of the green digits. We take that sum and multiply it by 3. We then add these two results together, and we get 104. Now what positive number do we need to add to get to a multiple of 10? Well, if we add 6 to 104, we'll get to 110. So 6 is going to be our check digit. And in fact, 6 is the last digit of this barcode. So it's a neat little trick that you can calculate the last digit from the other 12, and it'll be a surprise to many people because they don't realize that the last digit is calculated from the other 12. Now for those curious, here's a general mathematical calculation of the check digit you can use it to calculate the last digit of any ISBN 13 code. Now, let's say someone brings you a book that was published a long time ago, like The Elements of Style, and it doesn't have a 13-digit number. It'll probably have a 10-digit number like the following. This is the older ISBN 10 code. And there is a similar check digit process for that. It's much more complicated, but let me just explain how it works. You can calculate the 10th digit from the other nine. So you're going to take the first digit and multiply it by 10. You take the second digit, multiply it by nine. And you take the third digit, multiply it by eight, and so on, where you have decreasing weights over each of the following digits. So this is much more complicated to solve, especially using mental math. But let's say you have a calculator and you're able to calculate these sums. You then need to add up all of these numbers, and then you need to ask the question, what single digit number do you need to add to get to a multiple of 11? Well, for 111, we actually need to add 10 to get to 121. So that's not a single digit, but in ISBN 10, what you do is if you get 10, you use the single digit of X as a Roman numeral, because X is equal to 10 as a Roman numeral. So here, X is the check digit in an ISBN 10 code. But if you got a single digit from 0 to 9, you would just use that single digit of 0 to 9. So here's the general process to finding the check digit in the ISBN 10 code. You take the weighted sum of each digit, and then you calculate the following. If you get a number of 10, you need to use X. Otherwise, you use the single digits going from 0 to 9. So it's a fun little trick 
that you can calculate the last digit in the barcode from the other digits. Thanks for watching. These math videos, available for free on YouTube, build confidence for students and inspire mathematical discovery for viewers around the world. They have over 100 million views and the channel now has over 1 million subscribers. Please subscribe for free to get the news videos and email me a puzzle or topic, presh at mindyourdecisions.com. You can grab a mug or t-shirt, or you can check out my books. Both of these links are listed in the video description. You can also support me on Patreon for exclusive rewards. Thanks for watching and thanks for your support.